Today we'll implement Conway's Game of Life, and we're going to do it such that it can run blazingly fast on the GPU. As always, we're going to use Fiflow with the standard import. And the Game of Life operates on a two-dimensional grid where each cell can either be switched on or off. So let's come up with a initial condition, call it state zero, uh, just randomly initialized. So we need two spatial axes, call them X and Y with 40 by 40 resolution. And let's set 20% of cells initially to active and 80% to inactive. We can view this using the plot function. And this looks like that. Okay, now to implement the game of life simulation. We take in a state, and in the end we return the next state. And the rules depend on whether a cell is active and on the number of active neighbors of that cell. So let's first determine how many neighbors are active. And each cell has eight neighbors. So yeah, we kind of need a three by three window to look at. If you're familiar with machine learning or data science, you might immediately think of a convolution in this case. And that's what we're going to do. So let's define a kernel that basically counts all the neighbors, but not the cell itself. That's why I'm putting the zero here. Okay, so eight neighbors, eight ones. And this also needs dimensions. So we can also give this the x and y spatial dimension. And with this kernel, we can now determine the number of neighbors as just the convolution between our state and kernel. And at boundary, we're going to use periodic extrapolation so that things can move you know, at the right edge and to the left. Okay, now the game rules are as follows. If a cell is active, so where it is currently on or true, it only stays active if it has between two and three active neighbors. So let's write it like this. Number of active neighbors must be at least two and maximum three. And if a cell is switched off, it switches on exactly if it has three active neighbors. Right, with this, we can test that. And see what the next state looks like. Okay, and we can see our, that some patterns are starting to form. For example, in the areas where we only have some individual cells, they all die out, while the more populated areas build these structures. Now let's plot this as an animation instead. So we're going to have to iterate this a couple of times. So call game of life multiple times. And for the animation, we're going to have to add another dimension which I will call t for time, Let's make 50 iterations here, starting with state zero, and then tell it to use the newly created dimension t as the animation. So running this again, this will take a bit longer because now it has to plot this whole animation and code it as well. So now we get this nice game of life animation where you can see these structures evolving over time. We can also run multiple of these simulations in parallel if we want by just adding a batch dimension to our initial state. Say we want two initial states. We could say we have another dimension of length two. And now all of this will run two simulations in parallel. And there we see the results. Now I told you we can run this on the GPU as well. 
and also really fast. So we're going to have to make two changes to this. First, select a backend that is GPU compatible, like TensorFlow, JAX, or PyTorch. And in this case, I'm going to use PyTorch like this. If we run this again. Now the whole game of life simulation runs with PyTorch tensors. And if the system had a GPU, which it doesn't in this case, it would automatically use that GPU. And the second change we're going to make is to JIT compile the game of life function. That will optimize the computations that are performed on the GPU. You can do that by adding the JIT compile decorator to it. Now here we don't have a GPU, so it doesn't run that quickly. But I tried this on my RTX 2070 Super, and with a resolution of 4000 by 4000, which is 16 million simulated cells, I got to about 1600 steps per second, which was quite remarkable. If there are any other videos you'd like to see, just let me know in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video.